Hello, welcome back once again. Today we have this Olympiad mathematics problem. We're given that x plus 1 over x is equal to root 3. And here we're going to evaluate x to the power of 2029 plus 1 all over x to the power of 2029. Right? Now let's get started. From the given equation, we have x plus 1 over x. This is giving us root 3. Right? Okay, now, so from here, let's go ahead and cube both sides of this equation. So here we have x plus 1 over x cubed. Then this is equal to root of 3 cubed, right? Okay, now from the left-hand side, let us make use of this property. a plus b cubed. This is equal to a cubed plus b cubed plus 3 times a times b into bracket a plus b, right? Okay, now take note of this. When we have 1 all over x, and we're raising this to the power of n, this is the general, then this can be written as 1 to the power of n divided by x to the power of n, which is same as 1, because 1 to the power of n here is 1, divided by x to the power of n. So therefore, when we have 1 over x cubed, it can be written as 1 over x cubed, right? Okay, now from the left-hand side, make use of this property, the first term here cubed, which is x cubed, plus the second term cubed will be 1 over x cubed, plus 3 times a, b here, then 3 times x times 1 over x Remember, x times 1 over x is 1, then 3 times 1 is 3, so we have just 3, then into bracket x plus 1 over x, right? So here, root of 3 cubed is same as, this from here is same as root of 3, multiplied by root of 3, multiplied by root of 3. So we know root of 3 times root of 3 is root of 9, which is 3, then 3 root 3, right? So this is 3 root 3. Okay, now do not forget that x plus 1 over x is the is exactly the left-hand side of the original equation, which is equal to root 3. So we're going to replace this here with root 3. So we have here x cubed plus 1 over x cubed, then plus 3 root 3. This will be equal to 3 root 3. Now subtract 3 root 3 from both sides, we get x cubed plus 1 over x cubed, this is equal to 0, right? So from here, this is all over 1, and this is all over 1. Now the LCM of 1, x cubed, and 1 is x cubed. Therefore, we're going to multiply both sides of this equation by x cubed, right? So here we have x cubed into bracket, x cubed plus 1 over x cubed. This is equal to x cubed multiplied by 0. So splitting here, we have x cubed times x cubed is x to the power of 6, plus x cubed times 1 over x cubed is 1, then this will be equal to x cubed times 0, which is 0. So subtract 1 from both sides, and we arrive at this amazing equation that x to the power of 6 is equal to negative 1. Okay, now let's go back to the expression we are asked to evaluate. We are asked to evaluate x to the power of 2029 plus 1 over x to the power of 2029, which we can write as x to the power of 2028 plus 1, then plus 1 all over x to the power of 2028 plus 1. Take note of this. a to the power of b plus c is equal to a to the power of b multiplied by a to the power of c. Right? So from here, this will be x to the power of 2028 multiplied by x to the power of 1, which is x, then plus 1 all over x to the power of 2028 multiplied by x to the power of 1, which is just x. Okay, now our major goal now is to find the value of x to the power of 2028. But we need to take note of this, that... Fortunately, 2028 is a multiple of 6. It is equal to 6 times 338. Yes. Okay. Okay, now from here, 
since we have found that 2028 is a multiple of 6, now let's go back to this amazing equation. So we have x to the power of 6 is equal to negative 1. Let's raise both sides to the power of 3, 3, 8. And here, 3, 3, 8. Remember that 3, 3, 8 is an even number, right? And we know that negative 1 to the power of an even number is 1. Why negative 1 to the power of an odd number is negative 1? So, but from the left hand side, remember 6 times 338 is 2028. So we have here x to the power of 2028. This will be equal to negative 1 to the power of an even is what? 1, right? So here we arrive at this equation that x to the power of 2028 is equal to 1. So therefore, the expression we are asked to evaluate x to the power of 2029 plus 1 all over x to the power of 2029, which is equal to x to the power of 2028 times x, then plus 1 all over x to the power of 2028 times x. This will be equal to, remember, x to the power of 2028 is 1, then 1 times x is x plus 1 all over x to the power of 2028 is 1, 1 times x is x, and we can see that the value for this crazy looking expression is equal to the value of the original equation, which is equal to root 3. And here we have the right answer. Thank you for watching. Please kindly subscribe to my channel. Also like, comment, and share. Bye-bye.